Hello and welcome. It's Bill Skolodowski. Time for another What's New Wednesday. Every Wednesday at 8 o'clock, the latest in uh, iPhone, iPad goodness. <laughs> and uh, this week, a little update for you. I want to do one quick reminder, because we had a couple of questions about it, uh, about some, how to do something. And then uh, an update, which is there's actually something to talk about here. If you haven't joined us uh, yet, make sure you jump on over to the website at www.billsklodowski.com, and then you can uh, get on our little uh, email tribe newsletter and make sure that every weekend you're getting the uh, update of the two videos from the previous week and the free handout for the class as well. So I'll remind you of that when we get uh, back towards the end of the video. But uh, like we said, uh, and we've been talking about this a lot, the new iPhone software is out, and... Um, the iOS 14 update is out. But not only that, uh, of course, and maybe not surprising to me, maybe to you, maybe not to me, there's already an update to the update. So for What's New Wednesday, I want to have you uh, make sure you take a look at your phone and see if there's uh, an update available. Uh, don't worry, you haven't missed anything. Nothing's going to go wrong if you do. But Usually when new updates come out, especially big packages like iOS 14, um, you know, Apple finds like, oh, we missed one or two little things, right? We forgot, crossed a few T's, dotted a few I's. Some of them got missed. Um, so they're out with a new update already. And how do we find that? Well, the answer is uh, in settings, of course, our favorite settings, you can uh, open that up, and if you haven't, you know, it's always the gear icon, right? Always the gear. By the way, if that doesn't work for you, remember we always said you can just open settings, and Siri will do it for you. More on that later. But uh, go down to general, right there. It looks like the same gear. Tap on general. And then second one down, software update, and it's going to check. You saw that real quick there uh, on, on mine because I did it already just to see if there was anything out there. Um, yours might take a few seconds to go checking for updates, checking for updates, and then you're going to arrive here. And as you can see, we're already up to iOS 14.1, which means we found just a few little, you know, dust bunnies that needed to be swept up and taken care of, and here's the latest update. So... As you can see, it even says right there, includes improvements and bug fixes for your iPhone. All you're going to want to do is tap on down below where it says download and install. Don't do it now, but <laughs> I'm not going to do it now. Uh, and if you, if you want, it's always best to do it when the phone is plugged in and connected to power and being charged. And that way the phone has all the juice it needs to do what it needs to do. And also, of course... You want to be on your Wi-Fi. So, you know, when you're at home or, you know, well, <laughs> we're all at home now, aren't we? So I was going to say at the office or something like that. But again, home, home Wi-Fi, plugged into power. It doesn't have to be plugged in if you have a charging pad or something like that. All good. But that just makes sure that the phone doesn't accidentally go off in the middle of the process, turn off or run out of power or something like that. So that's going to keep you safe. So there you go iOS 14.1 is out. You might want to check it out for yourself to make sure that you're up to the absolute latest and greatest. I'm not sure what it fixes, but I have heard that it includes some spiffy new wallpapers. So if that's the case, maybe we'll touch on that Friday after I do the update. The other thing that I wanted to remind you of, and some people, I've, as I've mentioned, some new apps and where to find things. Like, remember, we were talking about the Magnifier app on the phone and how cool that is. I think we did that last Wednesday or Friday, I don't remember. But somebody said, well, I, I can't find it. How do I get to it? So the easiest answer is what you just saw me do with Siri, and that is to either hold the button down for you old iPhone people with home buttons or the side button for you newer ones, open magnifier, and it will do it, right? So there you go. There, there we are. on. We're on TV. Look at us. So that's the easiest way. But remember, and this was I think we did in the first day of iOS 14 updates, that if you swipe right to left until you're all the way to the last screen, and I only have two screens plus this one, you will end up at the app library, right? 
And from here, you got two or three ways that you could find something. Now, typically, like you see, I just had a suggestion there. The first two blocks up at the very top, upper left, upper right, are going to be suggestions and recently installed, right? So the suggestions are things that you use most often. And I was just on the up big orange sun up there is my bank. And then the magnifier is the one right below it because that's the one we were just tapping on. Yours is going to look different because you're going to use different things. Having said that, if you're searching for something, to me, the easiest way after Siri <laughs> is to use this app library. And remember, from here, I can just pull down on it a little bit and it will get me to the alphabetical list. And I can scroll, 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 scroll through all the apps I have on my phone until I find it. Or I can tap in up at the top where it says app library and I can start typing. Magnifier, there it is, all right? So three ways there to find an app on your phone if you've hidden some of the apps or if you've done what I did, which is really just to reduce the clutter, get it down to a home screen with a couple of widgets, check last Friday's video for how to do widgets, and then a second screen with some of the popular apps that I use all the time. Actually, the top two rows of apps on this page are also a widget. They're the um, smart, or excuse me, the Siri suggestions widget, which Remember, we said the Siri Suggestions keeps track of the things you use most often and puts them up there for your use. So I was doing a little Walmart shopping the other day and I was on my bank the other day. So those are going to be up there. Our magnifier friend is right there. So there you go. So remember, three ways. Have Siri do it. Super easy. You know, scroll over until you get to the app library and then either, you know, see it in the groups here and you know they they group things i'm hoping by the way that that they will eventually that in some future update let us change these apps and i don't believe that's doable yet <laughs> i'm trying to tap on them nothing happens so this the phone kind of does by itself but remember just pull down get to the library either type it out or scroll down and find it in the alphabetical list but for me siri is Siri is the easiest way to do it. It just makes it super, super simple for us, okay? So remember, for today, I want to keep this short. 14.1 uh, on the iOS update. Do it at your leisure. No, here, no hurry, but I think there's a few little hidden goodies in there as well. And then for opening and finding apps, Siri or App Library. And then if you want to, I mean, you could certainly put uh, the, the app on the homepage if it's something you're going to use all the time. And We've done a number of videos on how to arrange videos on the homepage and how to get them up, you know, to where you want them there. So you're all set. All right, that's going to do it for today. Like I said, wanted to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. So if you have questions or if you are interested, I would invite you over to the website at BillSklodowski.com, like we said early on. You can uh, sign up for our uh, newsletter there. Just click the uh, Click Me button there on the homepage. And uh, like I said, you only get one email a week, usually on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, and it's the two videos that were the previous week, plus the free handout for class, so you uh, never miss a thing, and you always know what's coming. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here, either right on Facebook where you're watching this, or on YouTube if you're watching it there, or on the blog. I read and respond to all of them. And obviously, as they come in, those questions and comments, um, that helps us to create our latest and our, you know, our next videos as they go. All right. Have yourself a, a good rest of the week. We'll see you Friday night. Probably one more video about iOS 14 and that whole widget universe because that's just so big and so useful and so new. So, <laughs> so if you have questions about that, leave them below and that'll help us uh, create the Friday video. Have a great rest of the, rest of the week. Ah, easy for me to say. And we'll see you Friday evening for iPhone Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.